Hi, this is Dave Chenault with Skylight Systems. In this video, I'm going to take you on an overview of Sidekick 365 Forms. Sidekick 365 Forms is used to create forms in HTML and JavaScript and then save all of that data in SharePoint lists. It's an add-in you can buy in the SharePoint store, and we think it represents a great way to move away from InfoPath Forms and into web standard HTML and JavaScript forms. Best of all, all of this runs in SharePoint. There's nothing external. There's no additional costs. There's no surprises. It leverages all the capabilities of Office and SharePoint and also gives you things like workflow and email integration. And we're going to show all that in this video. So let's get started. First thing to notice is that I'm looking here at a form. It's a procurement request for a thousand pencils. And this form was created in HTML and JavaScript. Let's take a look at how it works. When I hit the edit button, I'm now going to be able to get some more functionality going and I can see dynamic things on the form occurring. When I hit the other, I get a field that's going to pop up here and show me more information. If I hit a different button, it'll hide. I can also do that with sections. If I go to pending, that whole section of the form will disappear go to approved, I can see that as well. So what's really interesting is that you can change what is being displayed on the form based upon where the form is in the process of being approved or reviewed or who's looking at it. You can also do things like integrate in with your Active Directory. So in this case, I'll put in Sergey, And you can see I can just pick right from my Active Directory people that are associated with this particular procurement request. Let's go ahead and save this. Now what you'll see is that all the data I just entered actually goes into a SharePoint list behind the scenes. And if I take a look at my procurement and I look at my requested by, I should see that it was by Sergey. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my list settings, modify it, and add in the requested by column in that SharePoint list. So the idea here is that this is straight SharePoint. You should be familiar with it. If you know SharePoint, it's easy to manipulate. There's nothing really for you to learn. And there's your SERG associate and my thousand pencil entry. Now, how do we do all this? Well, let's start off first with the HTML. Here's the form in HTML. And I'm using expressions from Microsoft. It's free. You can download it from the web, and it is a drag-and-drop form designer. Just go look on it, do a Bing search for it, look for expressions for the web, 4.0, and you can then download this product and drag and drop to build your forms. Now, what we do is if you look, you can see this as an ID of request date. This one has an ID of request name. This one here is requested by the ID. Here's the ideas preferred date. These are very important. Let's take a look why. Here's the magic. Whenever you set up the list in SharePoint, you do that with our Forms Manager, and this is included when you buy the add-in. You set up all of your fields with the manager, and you specify the data type. So when I say new, I can see here all the different data types that we support, which is virtually everything. And then you can then put in a name, an ID, a type, etc. You can actually put code to do data validation on entry as well right here. And you can say, do I want to do validation? And it'll run this JavaScript for you whenever you do the data entry. So here's how you set up all of your different fields. The way you bind the layout, you just hit the load HTML. And when you do that, here's all the different versions of that form as I was building it that I wanted to associate with that list. So there it is. I hit this, I hit open, and it'll take a second to upload that form. And all of those IDs that I had in there are binding the element on the screen. Behind the scenes, we store that in SharePoint for you. So that's all the magic. We take care of all of that for you. And all you have to do is define your different field types and define your layouts and then use this tool to glue it all together. Now you can also do things very interestingly with custom code on the load of the form and on the save of the form. 
there's a lot of times that you want to have different pre-selected values on a form, different settings. So let's look at that. Here's an onload JavaScript piece of code that we wrote, and we want to have different values selected when that form fires up. And again, this might look a little scary at first, but honestly, it's very straightforward. And this is what all the kids are learning in college. It's very easy to find people that know how to use JavaScript and HTML if you need to get some help. All you do is pick that form, you upload it, and it'll associate that form with this script. So each time that form loads, that script will fire up. And that's how we do things like get buttons pre-selected, show certain sections of the forms, etc. Okay, so let's go back in and take a look at the form itself and do some interesting things. Let's look at a travel request. It's a different form. And what I want to do is I'm going to make a task associated with Woodson. So if I come in, I can see this travel request form. It's a slightly different one. And I go to my tasks. And I'm going to associate a task with this form. So I'm going to say, I would like, I'm going to assign it to me so I see the email come in. This will be task two. And I'm going to assign it to myself. And I'll make it due on the 15th. And I'll say, this is task two. And I'll save it. Now what you'll see is I'm going to get an email in a few minutes that's telling me I've been assigned a task in Psychic Forms and I need to go look at something. So this is a very simple sort of poor man's workflow. And there it is. It just came in. So if I click on this, I can see that I've been assigned the task for it called Task 2. And if I click here, what it'll do is it'll take me right into that task. And I can take a look at the form and fill out the information around that task. So very simple to do. Here it is. It says task two. I could look at the travel request to get more information about it. All right, let's take a look and see what this is. Okay, I can see here that Paris, so Woodson is going to be going to Paris. So I'm okay with that. Let me go in and approve this on this task list. I just click here. And I can do things like change the status of the form to being approved, etc. I'm just doing a very simple thing here where I'm going to go and edit this guy and just say it's fine. Okay, so we've just done a very simple task assignment on a form. And what's great is that all of those different forms with all the tasks are available to everyone that can see them. So let's go look at those task lists. And here you can see that task too. And we can add into the status if it's been completed, etc. Now, another great capability is the integration we've got with Outlook. So let's go take a look now at uh, an email that I may have received from somebody. Let's go into a LinkedIn update. This is important stuff here. And what I will see is I have a button here in Outlook. And when I click on this, it'll go right into Sidekick 365 Forms from Outlook. And I can say I want to associate that email with that travel request. So this is very handy. And it's built into the product, no extra charge. So if I come back, it's a message. Let's look how it looks in Sidekick 365 forms. I'm going back to my Woodson form. I can tell that here. And when I click on the Documents tab, I'm going to see that email waiting for me. And everybody that can see this form can now also see those emails as well. Now we also have integration with Word, PowerPoint, Excel, and of course Outlook. And what happens when I open it up? Let's see. So if I click on it, what you're going to see is that it actually opens up right in Outlook, as you would expect. So it's making a copy of the message, and now I can respond to it. I can forward it. Whatever it is you want to do with that message, 
you can do because it's just an Outlook message. So it's just coming up now. There it is. And you can see it's just firing up. There's a lot of things running on my laptop here as I record this. But there's the message firing up an Outlook, and now I can fast, I can forward it, I can reply to it, etc. Whatever it is I need to do. So it makes a copy for me, which is great. We also want to take a look at the workflow that's built in to the product. So if I come back here to workflow, what I'm going to see is that, let's say I have different people associated with a form. I can assign different people to different work steps in this form. And I'll just say manager, OK. I'll save that one. I'll do a new work step, which is two. This will be manager two. We'll call this manager two. And these statuses get saved into the form itself. So what I'm showing you here is that we can set up sequential workflows on forms. It's using the Workflow Manager that's built into Office 365. It's called Workflow Manager. It's a Microsoft product. It's free. It comes with your subscription. So I guess nothing in life is free, but you've already paid for it, so why not use it? And it does simple sequential workflows today. But we're looking to enhance this tremendously as we build out the capabilities around this product. So I can do simple workflows. I can kick these off whenever the form is submitted. And it's very easy to do. It's just based upon the people you've got associated with that form. So let's just kind of recap all the things I said. We've got the ability to set up custom columns. We have the ability to create custom forms. We can do workflows. We can do email notification. We have deep integration with Outlook, Word, PowerPoint, Excel. And it all looks like this. It's very simple to use. We have the layouts bound up with those different lists. I open it up. And you can see this is a very complex form. Lots of checkboxes, et cetera. But it doesn't slow down. This is running in Office 365. So it's very performant. It works great. And we're using standard web technology that's easy to find help on if you need it. We think this is a great solution that should have tons of applications and organizations all over the world. It's also very affordable. So if you're looking for an alternative to InfoPath or you want to automate some of your business processes along with some deep integration with emails, Word, PowerPoint, Excel, you want some simple workflows, and you want to use standard web technology, we think Sidekick 365 Forms is the right add-in for you. We're happy to send you all of these examples. We have some great documentation that will show you how to do this. And there's plenty more videos to see all of this in greater detail. So please feel free to download a demo. We have a 30-day demo for free. We can send you off the manager so you can try this yourself. And we think you're going to find that this is a tremendous value that's going to really light up SharePoint and make it a powerful, powerful tool for you to transform your organization. This is Dave Chenault with Skylight Systems. If you want more info, go ahead and email me at info at skylightsystems.com, and that's S-K-Y-L-I-T-E-S-Y-S-T-E-M-S.com. Thanks for spending all this time on the video, and hope you got a lot out of it.